Well, uh, let's see. How should I do this? I've got a laptop camera here, but I don't really want to be too visible in the camera myself. Which means I'm going to have to do this kind of live here. So let's see. I guess I can show my desk being dusty and all. Um, let's edit this scene for a second. So we're going to add a layer. Uh, here, let me, I'm going to cover this up with my thumb. That makes sense. So we'll add it. Um, oh yeah, I have the camera off. Yeah, okay, it's my thumb. So how much of this is leaking if I let go here? Bum. I need to save it. Okay, so yeah, there's my thumb. Thumb reveal, kind of. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty decent of an angle. So yeah, here's the thing. Uh, I'm watching this three replay, so I'm gonna have to gonna be like 30 seconds behind before it shows up. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Okay, you can see. Kind of move it up and down here now that I have a general idea of where it is. So I'm going to open it off to the side here in a way that's hopefully not too damaging to the box. Ready to play 50 card deck, one later card. Oh yeah, here's the back. I guess I can strip that off too. That's what I was reading up there. Then we'll move it down slowly. Um, I might have to damage it a tiny bit to open it. Oh yeah, popping sounds good. Oh, that actually didn't damage it. Okay, it's in a really tall box for some reason. Get out this. Okay, so there's a rule book here, rule booklet upside down. There's just some examples of it. I'm going to open it here. Oh, it does have a playmat, actually. Two on the back here, just a simple one. I can't really show the full thing with this camera angle, but yeah, there's that. Just kind of going through it fast because it's just a little black and white thing. Uh, Back of it is game instructions, which I already know. And then here's the tall box with the cards. This is definitely pretty scuffed here. Um, here, and that's the dons that are visible there. And then here is the back of the cards. They're taped in here. I don't have scissors in here, but I don't want to damage the cards anyway. So I'm going to take out like a couple of cards from here in the back. And that should allow me to take them out. Okay. Boom. Hopefully this is centered enough, I guess. I can set it like this, where it's a bit sideways. And then I'll flip them over once I get this thing properly centered. I could probably do it down here, looks like. Let me just get this thing centered for a second. I have to watch the stream replay for this, because you can only see the top part of the logo there. Maybe if I 
Hold on. Let me bring up the camera angle a tiny bit. Where's my controller? Oh, it's right here in front of me. Yeah, I don't want that to go inactive. So yeah, I'm going to bring up the camera angle just a tiny bit more. Trying not to leak anything. Too important. So yeah, let's see. How is this camera angle? Is that a bit better? No, it's like about the same. Okay, up a bit more. I can't tell if it's actually going up or if it keeps resetting back to neutral. Because it just needs like a little bit more upward. But if it goes too far up, then it's off my desk. And I don't really want to go under my desk with the camera angle. Okay, yeah, this is manageable. Okay, so let's flip them over. So first we got a thousand sunny. So how many of these are included? There's two. So C rarity, two pieces. It is a stage type card. So thousand sunny. You may rest this or you may rest the stage up to one straw at crew type leader or character card on your field gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. So yeah, I'm reading it upside down, so sorry about that. Uh, here's the top of the card a bit more. And I can push it down some, get it more centered. I'm gonna see if I can't bring this up some too. Um, okay, that's actually a bit more upward. Yeah, I have it like perfectly centered there. And that one shot. Um, so let's see how much of that is. Okay, yeah, that's good. It's got the camera, but it's not bad. And then there is the other thousand sunny. And let's see. We're starting from the bottom, I guess. So we've got some Diablo. Jambe. How many of these? Two of these. I'm going to read the other one. I'm going to read it upright. So, main, select up to one of your Straw Hat crew type leader or character cards. Your opponent cannot activate a blocker if that leader or character attacks during this turn. Trigger, KO up to one of your opponent's blocker characters with a cost of three or less. So, yeah, just a way to attack through a blocker. There's two of them. I'm setting them off to the side, but you can't even really see them. There, I'm going to try to make it where you can. Let's see, I guess I can move that there. It's a bit more off center. Hold on, I could probably do like that. This camera is like really small, so. Yeah, it's already a bit better, it looks like. Okay, but the glare is pretty terrible. Uh, next up, we got Gum Gum Jet Pistol. There is two of these. See, so yeah, I'll leave that there, and then I'll read it from over here. So, KO okay, up to one of your opponent's characters with a power of 6,000 or less. Trigger, activate this card's main effect. And that was the main effect I read there. And next up, we got two guard points. There. Whoop. That back. So guard point up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 3,000 power during this battle. Trigger up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. Didn't mean at the microphone. Okay, so next up we got Brook. So this is our first character card here. There's two of them. Okay, it's kind of out of order, but that's fine. So Brook, set them there and read it on the next one. So give up to two Rested Dawn cards to your leader or one of your other characters. It is a two, three thousand, and it's got a counter power of two thousand. So pretty good counter. 
Uh, next up, we got Frankie. Just a 4 6, pretty good. Uh, with a 1000 counter power. So, yeah. How many Frankies is there? There's four. Okay. This second pile is not going too good. Okay, yeah, that one's a Frankie, and that one's a Frankie. Technically, it's out of order now, but here I'm going to make it where this pile's a bit neater. These cards are not wanting to sit still with a fan on. Okay, next up we got Vivi is a 2-4, but a 1,000 counter power. Um, I don't really see this card in red decks too much. It's got the Alabasta type, so it could be used in something in the future. Like, I think there's a Vivi coming out, but I don't know if it's red um, or not. So, how many Vivis are in here? There's four Vivis. So yeah, I'm pretty used to playing the Straw Hat deck. This was uh, the deck that was in the mobile sim, so used to playing it. I'm still not used to Kaido, even though that was the other one that's in the mobile sim. Okay, so next up we got Robin. Nico Robin with a, a 3-5000 with 1000 counter power. This one does see use, because 3-5000 is pretty good, and then it's also got decent counter power. So, I think that's a better stat line than Vivi. How many Robin? Four. Okay, so yeah, four Robin. Uh, next up, we got Nami. Which I'll have to read that one. There should be four of these Nami. This one is a pretty good red card. But yeah, I'll set that right there. So... Active main. Once per turn, give up to, or give up to one rested dawn card to your leader or one of your other characters, and that's a one one with one thousand counter power. So not too good of an attacker, but really good for setting up and making your cards deal a lot of damage or setting up some rush abilities with Zoro. Okay, so next up we got Chopper. So yeah, there should be four choppers, so um yeah. So it's the one one blocker. Uh so blocker after your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it the new target of the attack. So it's also got the animal type, which is interesting. Uh that could be used for something in the future. I guess Karu. I believe there's a Karu in this uh deck. That would also have the animal type. So next up we got 3-5 red djembe. So dawn times one when attacking up to one of your leader or character cards other than this card gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. Pretty solid card. I don't think this one sees too much use outside of the starter deck. But it's not bad. So red rush Sanji. This one is pretty good. It's 2 4 with Dawn times 2 will give the character Rush. So you can play out this card, and then if you have 2 extra Dawn, and it will be a 2 6, but it will get the ability to attack the turn that it's played as well. So pretty good. And next up, we got Karu. One three. This one like never sees use outside of the starter deck. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it in anything else. There's four. It's kind of hard to get uh, textless cards to do anything without the Sanji leader. I'm pretty sure has a thing for it. So next up we got Usopp's. So it's two two with trigger. Or no, yeah, it has a trigger and a blocker related thing. So it's got 1,000 counter power. Uh, Dawn times two when attacking your opponent cannot activate a blocker character that has 5,000 or more power during this battle. So not too bad. There should be four Usopp. Ooh, we got a Zoro three. Five with a dawn times one. It's like 
reverse hall, I think it's called in Pokemon. It's kind of shiny. Is there anything to note about this Zoro? Just SR? Secret rare? Guessing? Kinda saw the next few cards, but I have an idea of what they are. So yeah, they glow. And then uh, this is Dawn times one's character gains plus 1,000 power. So they'll be at 7,000 for one Dawn. Then we got the other secret rare that is shiny, the 5-6 Luffy. So it has Rush, and then if you use two Dawns on it when attacking, your opponent cannot activate a blocker. So get in a hit and then we've got this red leader it is rarity l so it's luffy i'll go ahead and read this ability while i'm holding it so active main once per turn give this leader or a character one or give this leader or one of your characters up to one rested dawn this turn and then got the dawn cards so on your turn, you gain plus 1k, and yeah, there's going to be 10 dawns. Yeah, these are all just dawn cards. So yeah, pretty good. Um, it's an okay deck. It still sees some use being a starter deck, being a starting red deck as well. Um, the Luffy ability as a leader isn't that bad. It's not as good as the Zoro ability course, but not too bad for learning how to play the game. 